Okay, so um, the issue that you're having is that your set number method is supposed to be accepting a number parameter. And the first thing that it should do is this, right? The very first thing it should do is take that number that was um, passed by parameter and assign it to the instance variable number. Okay, then the next thing, um, I'm assuming that what you commented out is your original algorithm, um, but the next thing that your method needs to do is convert that integer, capital I integer number that was passed by parameter into a Roman numeral. So if we code trace our way through this method that you wrote and see what's actually happening here, um, let's say that the number that we pass in is um, the number 45. Then for int i equals zero, so our loop variable is starting at zero, um, and that's while i is strictly less than numbers.length, and um, our numbers.length index zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's 13 values in numbers.length. So while i is strictly less than 13, and then we're going to increment i by one. So the first thing that you have happening here, well, the only thing you have happening in your for loop is you're taking the value num that was passed by parameter. So the number we're trying to convert to Roman numerals is 45. You're taking that and you're reassigning its value to numbers sub i, which is zero. And so now we've just made the value we were trying to change to a Roman numeral into the integer 1000. Okay, then it increments i and it changes the value now to 900. And do you see how that's going to just keep on going down the line here until you end up with 1 as the number and nothing ever got converted to um, to a Roman numeral. So uh, your algorithm here isn't, isn't doing what you intend it to do. So what I'd recommend is coming back to the method that you wrote for um, set Roman. And if you code trace your way through that method, and take a look at that algorithm that you used in order to convert your, um, get that back. Oh, whoops, now I lost my, lost my array. So we stack it on top so we can see the array. So if we code trace our way through that method, So you can see how we traverse the arrays. Now um, we're starting with i equals zero, and um, we pass in a Roman numeral. So let's say we pass in the Roman numeral C V. So <coughs> the um, first thing that it does is it assigns that Roman numeral that we pass by parameter and sets it to the instance variable, the uh, set Roman method. Okay, then number um, that instance variable was reset to zero. Whatever it was is gone now, and it's a zero. And then um, as we traverse through the array and letters dot length has thirteen elements. <clears throat> We're going to start with the index of letters element i, and i right now is 0. So letters array element 0 is m, and when we look at our string cv, 
there is no in there is no letter M, so there is no index for the letter M. Um, <clears throat> so that's not equal to zero, so it doesn't execute the while loop, and instead it comes back and increments i to one. Okay, then we go through and element um, of the letters array with an index of one is cm, and cm is not in our string, so we loop again and increment to two. That's D, then we increment to three, that's CD, we increment to four, and at element four, we find um, the string C that's in uh, ROM. So now we're starting with ROM equal to capital C, capital V, I is equal to four, and now we enter the while loop and number is going to be added to the value of the numbers array element four. So we go to numbers array zero, one, two, three, four is 100. So now zero plus 100 is 100. And we come back to our loop and ROM now is gonna be replaced with the substring starting at letters dot i, or sorry, letters element i, which element four is c, and dot length is the length of that string, and capital C string has a length of one. So we're starting our substring at element, this is zero and one, we're starting at one, and so do you see how that eliminates the C and now the value of ROM is just V. Then we increment I to five, we go back in and check <clears throat> and element five is XC. So then we increment to six, which is L. We increment to seven, which is XL. We increment to eight, which is X. We increment to nine, which is I X. We increment to 10 and we hit V. And V is what our current value of ROM is. So now it's going to, in our while loop, take the current value of number, which is 100, and add that element numbers element I, which is, um, I is 10, so element 10, is five in the numbers array. So now our value of the instance variable numbers is 105. And then we um, chop off the string and now our string is null. So when we exit this loop, the value of number, the instance variable number is now 105. The value of ROM, not the Roman numeral, because remember at the beginning we assigned ROM's value to Roman. So we haven't changed the instance variable Roman to a null. What we've done is changed the, um, the ROM variable whose scope is only within this method to null. So you're going to want to go back to your um, set number method and traverse the arrays in that same way with a nested for loop, only this time instead of converting the Roman numeral to an integer, you're converting the integer into a Roman numeral in that method.